the derivative of y with respect to x of x to the power x. Well, if y is equal to x to the power x, then the natural log of y will be equal to the natural log of x to the power x. Using the properties of logs, we can say that the natural log of y would be equal to x times the natural log of x. From here, we could take the derivative with respect to x of both sides to get this. So from here on out, to take the derivative with respect to x of the natural log of y, well, let's see. The derivative with respect to x, or dx over dx, is equal to dx over dy times dy over dx. And this is just the chain rule. So from here we know that dx over dy of the natural log of y is 1 by y. So we just multiply this by dy dx to get this. Now, let's try and simplify the derivative with respect to x of x times the natural log of x. To simplify this, we can just use the product rule to say that the derivative with respect to x of x, which is 1, times the natural log of x, added to the derivative of the natural log of x, which is 1 by x times x. And this can be simplified to the natural log of x plus 1. So we can say that 1 by y times dy dx is equal to the natural log of x plus 1. Since we know that y is equal to x to the power x, we can say that 1 by x to the power x is equal to the natural log of x plus 1. And obviously, we have to multiply this by dy dx. So from here, what we can do is we can just multiply both sides by x to the power x to get dy over dx is equal to x to the power x times the natural log of x plus 1. And here we have our final solution.